All right, guys, same uh, beloved car, 2005 Toyota 4Runner. Um, ever since I bought this car, uh, the air conditioning has not been super duper cold. And I've been always wondering if it was a problem with the, um, with the air compressor, uh, with the AC compressor, or with something else or maybe that it needed um, some gas. Uh, so I, uh, I checked the gas and I actually refilled it. On this side, you'll see the air compressor is right there. And I've not been able to see it fail. Uh, it does come on, it just doesn't cool quite as much. All right, so I just started the car. And I put the uh, AC. I put it in the in the low setting, and I put it in the front vents, and on recycled air. And I set it on high, and I got the temperature set to the lowest possible. So this uh, is what I'm going to measure with this temp temperature gun. So I am going to shoot the laser dot right there and I'm gonna try to take a look at what the temperature is looking like so you can see that the temperature is varying and it's getting to like 67 66 65 the rpms are about a thousand I'm gonna raise the rpms to about 2,000 2,500 rpms and I'm gonna see if the compressor kicks in. If the compressor kicks in, we should see colder air. And there it is, the compressor now has kicked in. Temperature is, is lowering. It's going a little bit lower. The car's still running with the AC inside. You can tell right there that the air compressor is kicked in. Now it's, it's stopped. You can see that the, the air compressor is not moving. And you should see it uh, come on in a few minutes. So, I mean, the air compressor is coming on. As you can see right there, it does come on. One of the things that I've been reading about is that sometimes um, the, the, the clutch, especially in, in warmer parts of the country, when it has to come on, it comes off. It comes on and off so many times that the relay that tells that compressor to come on sometimes sometimes it starts to fail so inside of this box in the forerunner is where you have all your fuses and in here there is a fuse is this guy right here and this guy right here says that it is the the magnetic clutch this guy right here this guy right there it says that it's a magnetic clutch for the um, for the uh, for the air compressor so if you take a look this guy will be right here this is for your heater this is the magnetic clutch and this is the one that you want to try to replace. So I called our friends at the Toyota place and they said that this little fuse cost $110. I just about fell backwards. This little fuse. I'm gonna put the description of how to get it and where to get it. I just basically got it out of Amazon. So I will hopefully be able to save you some money. So we're going to extract this fuse and we're going to put the other one in its place. Just like that, that simple. So now that we got it on, we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna run that test again to see if the air compressor stays on a little bit more and to see if it cools a little bit better. All right, so we're, we just replaced that fuse. We're inside the car. We got the settings at the same setting right here on high, on AC, on the front vents, 
on recycle. Recycle day. Right here, I can already see that the temperature is a little bit lower. It's at about 63 degrees. It should be a little lower, and it's lowering, it's going down 60. It's staying at 60, so it's not a it's not a huge gain, but uh, it's about four or five degrees better than before. Now, keep in mind that the RPMs are sitting at about at about 750. Uh, I'm gonna try to jump it to about 2,500. I'm gonna try to force the air compressor to come back on, and I'm gonna see what temperatures we are reading. So the the compressor came back on. And now the temperature has dropped to 59. The temperature is dropped about three or four degrees, a little bit more. So that lets me know that the, the fuse did have a little bit of improvement. And the improvement is that it's able to relay the signal to the air compressor to kick in a little bit sooner. It's not gonna make a world of difference but it is going to help keep the car cool during the summer a little bit. I think we were able to, to get the clutch to stay on a little longer by making it come on sooner and making it go off later. It improved to, you know, three or four degrees in temperature. Not a whole lot, but it's cheaper than having to change the entire air compressor. If you have any questions, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.